Some of the world's leading astrobiologists predict that within the next few decades, we will either discover conclusive proof of extraterrestrial life or push the possibility of its existence further and further out to the extreme edges of the universe, beyond the rapidly expanding reach of our observations. Several projects are actively searching for extraterrestrial life, and they may be able to provide such answers by the 2030s end. One of these projects reported yesterday that they have discovered a planet around the size of Earth orbiting a neighboring star at a distance that would make the planet neither too hot nor too cold to support life. If confirmed, the exoplanet, named Gliese 581g, would be the first Earth-like world found residing in a star's habitable zone, a region where a planet's temperature could sustain liquid water on its surface. The team that found the planet is hopeful that they'll uncover signs of life there as well. During yesterday's press event, UC Santa Cruz astronomy and astrophysics professor Stephen Vogt said, Personally, given the ubiquity and tendency of life to thrive everywhere it can, I would say, my own personal opinion is that the odds of life on this planet are 100%. The discovery of the planet will be reported in the astrophysical journal by Vogt, Butler, and their co-workers. With this discovery, the number of alien planets in our solar system has increased to over 400. Most of them are enormous gas giants, although a couple are just a few times Earth's mass. One of two new planets identified by the researchers, Gliese 581g brings the total number of planets in orbit around the neighboring red dwarf star Gliese 581 to six. Researchers have determined that the newly discovered planet, Gliese 581f, falls outside the habitable zone. The star is found in Libra, 20 light years from Earth. The average distance traveled by a light year is around 6 trillion miles, or 10 trillion kilometers. Typically, red dwarf stars are 50 times less luminous than the Sun. Planets orbiting these stars may be considerably closer to them and yet be inside the habitable zone since they are much colder. Gliese 581g is estimated to be 0.15 astronomical units from its star putting it within range for a 37-day orbit. The average distance between Earth and the Sun is measured in astronomical units, with one unit equal to around 93 million miles, or 150 million kilometers. With six planets around their star in roughly circular patterns, the Gliese 581 system now resembles our own in a hazy way. Lick Carnegie Exoplanet Survey researchers obtained radial velocity data for the star over a period of 11 years, with the help of grants from the National Science Foundation and NASA. This technique examines the minute changes in a star's position caused by the drag of orbiting bodies' gravity. This little tugging allows scientists to make accurate predictions about the planet's mass and orbital period, or how long it takes to make one complete round around its star. The astronomers calculated that Gliese 581g had a mass three to four times that of Earth. They concluded that the planet is likely a rocky one, with sufficient gravity to support an atmosphere based on its mass and estimated size. Because the planet is tidally locked to its star, only one side of the planet is always illuminated by sunlight. The surface climate of the planet benefit from this locked structure. The researchers speculated that the average surface temperature may be anything from 24 degrees below zero to 10 degrees Fahrenheit, or minus 31 to minus 12 degrees Celsius, depending on which side was facing the star. What makes this planet different from the many others that have been discovered and quickly debunked as uninhabitable? Additional observations may potentially rule out this planet as well. The researchers note in their journal paper that the accuracy of the radial velocity approach has improved over time. And as they pointed out, the researchers didn't make the same unreasonable assumptions that had been made before. Even though Gliese 581c, another planet in the system, was thought to have habitable temperatures, astronomer and planetary scientist Sarah Seeger pointed out that the researchers had used an unrealistic estimate for the amount of radiation the planet reflected. No attempt at a calculation of such kind was undertaken for this find. According to the study's authors, to construct dedicated 6 to 8 meter class automated planet finder telescopes, one in each hemisphere, would be a step in the right direction. To spy on neighboring stars that could have Earth-like planets in their habitable zones, the telescopes, or light buckets, as Seeker called them, would be used. The researchers concluded that the outcome would be low cost and likely to disclose several other neighboring, possibly habitable planets. 
Given that the Milky Way has billions upon billions of stars beyond the hundred closest to Earth, the researchers speculate that the tens of billions of habitable planets may exist, just waiting to be discovered. Scientists believe that tidally locked planets, like Gliese 581g, that orbit red dwarfs in their habitable zones, have a good chance of becoming home to life. The researchers note that Earth has survived hostile environments in the past. If life were to obtain a toehold on a tidally locked planet, it would have a reasonable chance of adapting to and potentially thriving in its environment. Since red dwarfs are generally immortal, surviving hundreds of billions of years, many times the present age of the universe. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, check out our previous videos, and visit our website if you love reading at www.nasaspacenews.com. Thanks for watching.